Chris, what is our second main topic today? This one comes from Xander Soros. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Five Nights at Freddy's fans are going crazy, including myself. Jason Blum has tweeted an image on Twitter of a dude sculpturing a clay prototype, at least what we think, of a person inside a Freddy Fazbear's suit holding his microphone. But that's not what got fans intrigued because Jason Blum wrote his tweet saying, it's great to be working with Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Their experience and expertise with animatronics is absolutely killer. Ah, killer. Get it? Uh. Wait, are the employees from Jim Henson's working together with Blumhouse for our fantastic uh, Five Nights at Freddy film? Fantastic Nights at yeah, Freddy's. Yeah, that's, that's to, a, you it's already the crossover got a lot of hope that in this I movie. Want. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And look, we have been talking for years. It's been years since they announced that they were doing a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And and I have said on the show before, I will say it again. No video game movie have I, or no video game have I ever found scary. I've never found a video game scary until I played Five Nights at Freddy's. Laying in bed on my freaking tablet and I'm like, this is legitimately creepy. I might have to turn a light on. Like it was, I don't know, <laughs> there's something about it that viscerally is inherently quite creepy that I've never felt that in any video game before. So I thought, you know what? There's something here because that could be incredibly scary. And it could be outrageously funny. And you put all that together. You got some Sam Raimi stuff going on there if you do it right. But then like nothing and then nothing and then nothing. And Jason Bloom is going to be doing and Bloomhouse is like blowing it up. They're doing everything great. So now they put out this thing. So this comes to us from the folks over at the director, right? The following. Blumhouse CEO Jason Blum posted on Twitter how he was pleased to be working with Jim Henson's Creature Shop for an upcoming project. He then goes on to note how their experience and expertise with animatronics is absolutely killer. What he doesn't mention is what the work is actually for. But for those eagle-eyed viewers, the answer becomes pretty clear. They're working on the Five Nights at Freddy's movie adaptation. So, Jonathan, can you bring up that web page and scroll down? Uh, we'll get you'll get to actually see the picture that he posted and there it is and you can see it right there what the modeler is working on it looks like they've got a maquette of a person inside the uh, Freddy suit he's got the microphones got the classic bow tie all that kind of stuff it's clear what they're doing they're working on it we have been waiting for years to hear about finally there being some movement on this now granted Nicolas Cage put out a movie not long ago I can't even remember the name of it but that was basically a Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff. Like, I mean, like, let's just call it what it was. Apparently, I never did see it, but apparently it was actually not bad. Yeah. But let's be very, very clear. It was definitively a Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff. Willy's Wonderland. What's that? Willy's Wonderland, right. And then we watched the trailer on the show, I remember. It was like, yeah, that's clearly a Five Nights ripoff. But whatever. We've been waiting for years for them to get progress in this. I am very excited about this, especially off of coming off of uh, watching the Black Phone. When you just, listen, not every Blumhouse movie is great. But man, they knock a lot of them out of the park. And when I think about what when I think about what they do with Invisible Man with Elizabeth Moss, which was so good. Yeah. And they made, they made that movie for like eight million dollars. Mm -hmm. When I think about that and what they could do with a recognized IP, I get very, very excited. I'll tell you what, I am stoked for this movie. I really am. Rob, you see this? The the involvement of the uh, Henson. All that the Henson Company, that kind of stuff. What are you thinking? Well, first of all, you know, no one, no one makes tweets or puts things out like this without it being thought about. They, oh, abs they, absolutely. This, yeah. is, this is their announcement, which I love. I love these kinds of announcements because it relies on the fans to figure the stuff out and promote it. I mean, we're here talking about it right now, so it obviously works. But what a great! I, I mean, I've always been a fan of of the Henson Creature Shop. You know, even think about Dark Crystal. You know, they're they're amazing. They can do anything. And what better company to work on this than the Henson Company? And the fact that Blumhouse, you know, they just made a deal with, um, who did they just make a deal with to put out all their back catalog, the Henson Company? It was yesterday. Oh, I can't trades. remember. I didn't hear. Yeah, it was in the trades. They they made a huge output deal. And even things like Jim Henson's The Storyteller. I don't know if you remember oh, that series. Yeah. Wasn't that great? Yes. So great. So to see that, you know, that the, the, I was bummed out. We were all bummed out. There was no season two of Dark Crystal. So it's great to see bummed that. Bummed out doesn't even begin to cover yeah. it. Dude. I get angry, angry about it weekly. Like angry. Like, yeah. like literally angry about I, I that. I mean, and, and whenever the Henson company is involved with something, it can only be a good thing. And for this, come on. This is like perfect. Chris, I mean, listen, 
horror is not exactly your cup of tea per se. No. But what do you think about but this? But Muppets are. Damn it. <laughs> oh. For those of you who don't know, Taylor and I's office is like Muppet themed. So I love Jim Henson. Oh, I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. I'm so hyped. Did you ever play the game? I did, and it's very messed up, and I don't like it. <laughs> um, but I, I'll, this... I'll show you the React channel, like pl Let's Plays I did. <sighs> That'll be it. enough for you. Can I, I hate it. We all have to go I hate it. I hate you. it. We can do that. I'm really, because I, I, I think about Age of Resistance probably once a week and I get so angry about <laughs> it. Like, this was so good and it was Emmy nominated. Netflix, you're so stupid. So any opportunity for me to see animatronics, Muppets, puppets, practical effects, I will go see that. All right, guys. Question is for you. Are you excited for Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I think this could be really good, and I, I think it's in absolutely the perfect hands to do it. How are you feeling about it? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. Hey guys, we want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. Now, I started taking Athletic Greens because I don't eat enough vegetables, and I was looking for a way to make up for that deficit in my diet of those vitamins and minerals that I really need in my system, and thank goodness I found Athletic Greens, and I literally take it every morning. You see, with one scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, all the things. And my wife got onto it and now she absolutely loves it. You know, tons of people take some kind of multivitamin and it's important to choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb like Athletic Greens. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with a convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash campia. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash campia to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance.